guitarist Steve Morrison. I've been playing really guitar all my life. Uh, what I do is I can play the bass lines, chords, and the melodies and lead together in the one time. So I can often sound almost like two or three instruments at once. It's very difficult, and his yeah. tone was phenomenal. I forgot where I was. Yeah. And the harmonics. Yeah. And harmonics were pure, like a bit nice. And, and the bar was very cool. Mm -hmm. And the solid low end, the, the boom. Well, well, the space was great. I think he played gorgeous. Oh, very good. And he played bottleneck. Very innovative. He really. was great. He was really, really great. Easy to listen to and full of tonality. And it was warm and punky at the same time. He really got me he was somehow. Special. He was special. Yeah. I, I vote for Steve. The three of us vote for Steve Morrison. I began playing guitar at a very early age, and there are stories that I would hold my father's guitar like a bass guitar as a, as, as a toddler. But I think it was around four years old that I began to learn. My father played folk music and, uh, and country music. That was his thing. So he would show me little things each day, and my guitar playing grew very sort of naturally, and it, it was a gift in a sense, because I didn't really have to learn. I was just around guitars, and I would pick up little things. I did a lot of busking, uh, uh, and that was really was where I built up my strength and stamina, because when you're busking, you have an audience and don't have an audience. You have that in-between thing. Some people are coming along the street, so then you think, all right, I'll start playing my good stuff. My guitar dream is really connected to winning an audience. Um, it's very much to do with the people that I meet and the people that I get to play for. And in that way, I think musicians are gifted because you get to touch people and talk to them, communicate in a way that can often be difficult in ordinary life. Fantastic stuff, man. Thank you, brother. Wow, that's beautiful. That bar really makes things, it picks things up it beautifully. It sings a little, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe you better move over to where I'm at in America, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can find you some gigs yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, well, I've heard that before. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. First of all, I automatically like Steve, because I heard things in his playing that I don't hear from a lot of players. They don't venture out that far. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really excited.
excited to be mentored by uh, Wilco Johnson today. I know he comes from a similar sort of blues background. There's something simple about his approach, but it's not unsophisticated. So I think there's something to be learned from his attitude to his music, and I, I want to capture some of that for myself. Steve's this kind of guitarist that excites me because he's playing, he's, he's got an individual style. Um, you know, it's a blues style. But it's uh, he, he's uh, got his own way of doing it, and I mean, he, he was he was giving me a couple of little whoa, you know, like little flash bits that, that make all the difference. Uh, that's nice. <laughs> hey. Cheers, Wilco. From you, that means a lot. Now, would you mind if we if we jammed a piece? All right. Tell me what. Okay. See. some of the little blues techniques I use for rhythm playing, and he seemed genuinely impressed. I mean, so much so that um, he was happy to jam with me, and we, we got around a few choruses, and it sounded really, really good. One more time, eh? So it's always yours. <laughs> <laughs>Next to perform is blues player Steve Morrison. Steve is a, is a real crowd pleaser. He plays slide guitar brilliantly, and uh, he's always keeping a really solid rhythm with it. You know, yeah. with the, the low E string. I mean, a lot of people aren't aware of how difficult a technique slide guitar is. You know, oh, it's, it's, it's and you have to be really precise. You've got to be right on the fret when you hit those notes. When he played for me in the masterclass, he made my eyes tear because. What comes through in his playing is, is, is just the fact that he so loves what he does. Yes, he does. And, and he has a huge heart. And he is just there for the music and for nothing else. Yeah. Yeah. At his age, he's found himself. Yes, he's definitely he's been through a lot. Body. So I'm looking forward I'm to really seeing yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. see what he's got. OK. Thank you, everybody. Honestly, I'm really excited to be here. And of course, you're here. That's what makes it all worthwhile. <laughs> So tonight, I'm going to do a gospel piece. Because one of the things I've learned from, from the show is that playing the guitar is fun, and um, I'm glad to see some of you have brought your dancing shoes. <laughs>
my god. He's you know, the audience for the panel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. When I grow up, I want to be Steve. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's very cool. Wow. Great. It was it's, flawless. His licks are clean. Clean, yeah. And funky. Clean, yeah. You know, like the yeah. bends are just appropriate, yeah. just yeah. right, but definitely clean articulation. Like his, all of his technique comes from a feeling. Yeah, music you know, is first. That's yeah, right. yeah. yeah. Musicality drives the technique. He, yeah. He's got yeah. stage presence. He's got star quality. Mm -hmm. Man, it's never too late. See, exactly. Yeah. Never yeah. too late. He, he just raised the bar for the whole show. Yeah. yeah.